Hello. So today we're going to work on our little tail feather here of our partridge in a pear tree. And I'm going to show you how to create this look with it as well as how you're going to um, crochet it. So let's get started. So you're going to use the Sunkissed 002 is going to be our starting color. And then our middle color is going to be the Sun Kissed 01, which is the body color. And so this is the head color. And we're going to start here. Okay, so first tip, leave a long tail because your initial tail is going to be what you're going to sew him on with. Okay, um, because is this one here that I've done up, I haven't completely finished this one yet. It still needs to be tied in together here but this is going to be the top away from him this is going to be where you attach so and that's going to have that starting so that's where you really want the long tail leave a long enough tail for these to be able to weave your tails in as well as kind of cinch that together but you don't need to leave as long a tails here just enough so that you have some to weave in okay so again like i said you're going to want to leave so Leave about that. You're not going to be doing a lot of sewing, but you know, not bad to leave. Mm, we'll go with that. Okay. And so you're going to chain 13. So this is how I usually start my hooks. I know everybody starts theirs differently. That's how I start mine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Okay, so let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we have 13. I went to test this earlier and I accidentally did 14 and I'm like, why is it off? Because I did 14 instead of 13. Okay, again, you're going to be working in back loops on this project. You're going to be doing a series of single crochets, half double crochets, and double crochets. So I'm going to slow down a little bit on here and let you guys um, see what those look like. But it, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, crochet down in single crochets. So we're going to start the second one from the hook. And that's going to be our first single crochet. And then we're going to do 11 more for a total of, we'll have a total of 12 single crochets by the time that we're done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And three, four, oops, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess I could have already had this part done for you guys, but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Okay, so this is our starting of our tail feather. Okay, so we're now going to do a chain one and turn. And we're still staying in the same color right now. And I'm going to do a series of four single crochets followed by four double crochets followed by four half double crochets. And so we're going to go into the back loop only. sure we've got a good toll and pull here so we're gonna go back loop only one two three and four okay so if you're not familiar back loop only is that little guy there front loop would be this little guy completely through would be completely through both of them okay so 
Now we're going to do a double crochet. So if you're not familiar with double crochet, you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, insert, we're going to go into the back loop only, yarn under, pull through, and we've got now three, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, now we have two, yarn over, pull through two, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing. We have three, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now we're going to do that two more times. Okay, so now we're going to do a half double crochet, which is very similar to a double crochet. We're going to yarn over, we're going to insert into the back loop, yarn under, pull through. We have three, yarn over, and we're going to pull through all three, and that's a half double. Okay, so one more time, we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook, yarn under and pull that up, or you could yarn over, I yarn under because it makes it tighter, and then go all the way through. Okay, and we're going to get two more here, and Okay, there we go. So now we're there, okay? But we're also gonna change color at this one. Okay, so we're gonna take this back out, actually. Okay, so we've got the three on there. And at that point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up my dark gray. Make sure I leave a long enough tail so that I can sew in. It's easy to sew it in at the end. You don't want to do those with little tails. It's kind of annoying, okay? And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And that is going to act as a half double crochet for going down this way, okay? And we're gonna half double crochet one, two, and we're going to go three, okay? And then we're going to double crochet four, And then we're going to single crochet five times. And I always like to double check right here when I get to this spot that I've got the right number before I go, because then that'll definitely let me know whether I screwed up on the other two rows. Okay. And you're going to chain one and turn. And then you're going to go four single crochets back. And then you're going to go four double crochets. and four half doubles. I should put my light around my neck. These dark yarns can be hard to see sometimes. I have this neat little neck light that I got from Hobby and I can post a link to it if anybody wants it. It's really cool, I'll show it show it to you guys here. So I'll put it on right now because it helps me see when I'm working with the dark yarns. Oh my gosh, so much better for me. Okay. 
and we're going to actually, again, we're going to do a color change. So I'm going to pull that back out. And we're going to come up here. No. Yep. That's our tail. Grab the right light brown. Okay. And we're going to do a color change. Okay. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to do the same thing that we did before. So it's just a lot of repetitive, repetitive until we get to the next step, which is coming up here. where I'm at. One, two. Okay, and now we're going to chain one and turn, and then I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to go up 12 single crochets, and then that's going to be, then we're going to be at the next step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I might have skipped one, nine, ten, eleven. I did. I thought I did. You guys are supposed to call me out on that. I know. This isn't live. You can't do that that one right there. Let's do this again. Maybe at some point, one of these days, I'll get set up in my basement area for crafting and I can do some really good lives where I can have camera angle changes and stuff. Um, and then I can do live events where people can ask me questions. Cause I'm also going to do so one of the cool things about my blog is it's not going to just be about crocheting. I'm also going to have stuff on there about um, all sorts of different crafting things that I do, projects that I work on, um, things that I like using, all sorts of fun stuff. So um, I've got all sorts of ideas going through my head because I just love to create. If I could make a living and support my family doing nothing but creating stuff, I would be so happy. Um, but I still enjoy doing hair too. Okay, so now we're at this top here. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn slightly. And now we're gonna go right in here and we're going to double crochet six times in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then we're going to go into, oh, I'd say probably about right here. And don't worry about whether you're exactly going into the right spots around here. The main thing is you're going to want to have three of these by the time you're done. So you're just going to kind of eyeball where you want to go, whether you want to go here or more here. So I'm just going to go in here. And I'm going to actually now pick up the gray and do a slip stitch. Yeah. Where am I coming out? And this will be part of two where you want to go in at on where it would be easy to pull it out through. Okay. And then just kind of tighten down, right? And then you're gonna kinda wanna go somewhere right in this area here. We'll say right here. So we're gonna loop, we're gonna do six. 
double crochets right here. And I think I might have, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me do this one more time. I didn't get that yarn very easy, very good when I brought it up. That's what the problem was. Okay, so we're gonna go in here somewhere and we're going to grab this and bring it up and bring that through. There we go, that feels a lot better. Okay. Hopefully I'm still in good view for you guys here. Okay, now we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna do six of these. One. Oh, come on. I don't split the other yarn. Okay. It's always fun trying to crochet and making sure that you're also staying in line with your um, camera and try to focus on that as well as what you're doing here. Three, four. I guess eventually I'll become a pro at this too. Five, six. It's like anything, it's just practice, right? Practice makes perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right in here maybe. And we're going to bring this across and we're going to slip stitch it in. Okay. And then we're going to go somewhere in here, eh, maybe at the very end. And we're going to do six double crochets there. Okay. And then we're gonna just go in here and slip stitch, fasten off, to fasten it off, okay? And where's my scissors? And again, you just wanna leave a tail that's long enough to sew in on those, okay? So, when I do his tail, and let me grab a needle here. I finally ordered this morning or was it last night? I ordered some more of the needle sizes that I actually really like to use. Okay. Um, so that way it's easier for me to do this. I know you guys know how to, at least you should know how to thread a needle. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna hide this tail here, tuck it. Normally I have my smaller scissors, but I keep forgetting to bring a pair back down here. <laughs> And we want to do that with this one, too. This is probably the boring part for you guys. So I'll try and do this as fast as possible. So now what I want to do is hide this, right? So that when somebody looks at the backside of your bird, they're not seeing that. Plus it just gives a little bit more shape to his tail feathers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come in here over to the other side. It's just kind of like what I did with the leaf, right? And we're just going to pull it together. Okay. And 
you just kind of want to adjust it, right? There we go. And then you can kind of go in here and hide your So yeah, you're just kind of pulling those together just like you did with the leaf to just kind of bring that together and it just gives them a little bit more of that. Okay, and then you would take them and first pin it on here so that you know where you want it. of your idea of where his feathers are going to go okay and then I would sew them up to about right in here so probably you're going to go up about oh one two three four at least maybe five stitches up and then insert bring it through and come out the other end and sew down you could always tack it a little bit more to right here if you felt like you needed to. Um, but I didn't feel like I needed to on this because um, it's okay if his feathers come down a little bit, right? Like that. So it doesn't really need to be tacked there, but you could if you wanted to, if you felt like that would be better. So that is the tail feather. So again, subscribe. That way you know when I have new patterns coming out and new tutorials to go with those patterns. I like to get on some of these parts, some tutorials to help you out. And I think it helps to understand better what your designer is describing in their patterns if we do tutorials. Plus, like I said, I'm a visual learner myself. So sometimes watching somebody else do something makes it click a little bit better for me. So I'm gonna finish sewing this guy's parts on him and then get his little hair made. And the other thing I want to try and do is I'm going to see about um, ironing on a pair maybe and seeing how that looks versus doing this. You could also find a button that's shaped like a pair and you could just sew a button on or you could just leave it completely blank if you didn't want to put the pair on. But I think it's cute with the little pair on his body. It would even look cute like I was playing with it before I put it here and like putting it like down on the side um would be cute yeah i again am just in love with this little guy and i hope that my next pattern that i have going on in my head um for the two turtle doves turns out just as cute and as adorable this is going to look great on any christmas tree this coming christmas in 2022 i know we're just into january of 2022 but hey Who says it's too early for Christmas? Not me. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching these videos and make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you.